Hello, I'm John Locker and today I'm here with Richard Huey, our cycling instructor at Wandsworth Council, and I'll be asking him for five tips for getting on the road and cycling. Thanks, John. So here are my five tips for helping you to cycle safely in and around Wandsworth. Tip one, make sure your bike is roadworthy. The first thing we want to do is check your tyres. We want to make sure they're as hard as an apple. So if you make your hand like a claw and squeeze your tyres, they should be nice and hard. No, that's soft. Okay, so we need to pump those up. Every tyre has got a PSI number on the side and it tells you how much pressure per square inch. Just make sure it's nice and hard, but you don't want to go over the pressure. Okay. Okay, so we put the pump on here and we lock it in place. And then if you put your feet on the sand and then if you pump away, keep going. And I'll keep an eye on the PSI gauge there. And it will help with your rolling on the road. It will stop you getting as many punches and it will make a smoother ride. Cool. Okay, so now feel that. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, much better. So let's take the pump off. Thank you. And put the dust cap back on. B for brakes. We want to make sure that both your brakes, your front and your back brake, are working correctly. So, first of all, we're going to pull your brake lever and make sure that the brake pads actually touch the rim of the wheel. And when we let go of the brake lever, the brake pads come off the rim of the wheel. C, chain. That's mostly a visual check. We want to make sure your chain is a silver or dark silver gray color, not a rusty brown color. If it's rusty brown, we need to put some oil on it, or if it's black, it needs to be cleaned. We need to put one drop on every link and then wipe off any excess oil. Tip two, plan your journey. So John, what you need to do is think about how are you gonna get from A to B and what are your options? Can you use cycle infrastructure? Are there traffic free roads or do you have to use multi-lane infrastructure? When you know your options, then you can plan how you're going to ride in those different environments and prepare yourself for the changing environments. Points three and four, communication and position, which link to point two, planning your journey. So as a cyclist, as we approach the set of traffic lights, what we need to do is see if there's anyone behind us and do we need to communicate with them by looking at the driver or the other road user, or do we need to signal? When we're at the traffic lights, like every other road user, we need to obey the traffic lights, stop for red and obviously go on green. But our position is gonna be the primary position. And in this situation, we have an ASL, advanced stop line, which we can stop in. Our position will let other people know that we are there and where we are going. And finally, tip five, the most important tip, enjoyment. Did you enjoy yourself? All of these tips are part of the free cycle training that Wandsworth Council offer to anybody who lives, works or goes to school in the borough. You can find more information at wandsworth.gov.uk forward slash road safety.